Time for another Man in Gray book review. Today's book is When the Cat's Away by Kinky Friedman, originally published in 1988. This reprint edition, which includes a new introduction by the author, was published in 2011 by Landau Press. It's 211 pages. Richard Kinky Friedman was a uh, singer-songwriter, a mystery novelist, and one-time uh, candidate for governor of Texas. Um, he was known for his uh, satirical songs in the 1970s, uh, in a, <laughs> which were deliberately offensive. Uh, his, uh, they poked fun of his own Jewish heritage, uh, feminism, uh, basically any any sacred cow you could think of, he would attack. Uh, some of his songs include his uh, anti-feminist uh, song, Get Your Biscuits in the Oven and Your Buns in the Bed. Uh, one of his songs about the Holocaust was called Ride em, Jew Boy, and even wrote a satirical song about the Austin mass murderer Charles Whitman. Um, so he, he, he was actually the only person in history to uh, have an episode of Austin City Limits, the long-running Texas music show, that was never aired. It was deemed so offensive that they never put it on the air. But uh, Kinky Friedman developed a second kind of surprising career in uh, the 1980s when he began writing a series of mystery novels starring a version of himself. Uh, this Kinky Friedman lives in Greenwich Village, New York, and uh, many of the characters he hangs around with were real people, all based on real people, and he solves various mysteries. This book, uh, When the Cat's Away, is sort of a parody of the uh, cozy cat mysteries that became popular in the 1980s, thanks to writers like Rita Mae Brown. Uh, in this book, um, one of his uh, friends, uh, his actually his editor, um, yeah, Jane, uh, Jane Nora, uh, loses a cat at a Manhattan uh, or at a Madison Square Garden cat show. Uh, she loses her cat. She's not sure if it ran away or if it was kidnapped or catnapped. And so um, um, she talks Kinky into showing up, and he picks up his uh, friend Ratso, uh, who's the editor of the uh, National Lampoon, and they go in search of this cat. But in the process, they discover a dead body. There's another... Uh, publisher, another ed book editor who's found with his tongue cut out and the cryptic message, cat got your tongue left there. Uh, and so Kinky decides to try to solve the murder and the disappearance of the cat at the same time. Uh, and then the plot gets incredibly convoluted as all of Kinky Friedman's novels are. Uh, he, he meets and falls for a beautiful woman who's half Palestinian and half Colombian, whose brother Carlos is running a, uh, a uh, drug, a Colombian drug gang, and he's having a, a turf war with another Colombian named the Jaguar. And the two gangs meet up in Kinky's apartment and start shooting up each other. Wanting, and both both drug lords are killed. Kinky manages to escape, uh, and so does uh, his his quasi girlfriend. Um, then another book publisher or um, a book editor uh, is found dead in her apartment uh, with another cryptic message. And then there's a bloody paw print that's found on the door of Kinky's uh, apartment in Greenwich Village. And he decides to call up his friend from Austin, who's an anthropologist. And the anthropologist spends this long story about a uh, ancient lost race of warriors who worshipped cats, and particularly they worshipped cats uh, with white feet, which this missing cat, uh, Jane's missing cat, has. And so there's all these bizarre twists, plot twists, and dead ends, and red herrings. Um, there's uh, constant references to Kinky's drinking alcohol and smoking cigars, uh, which I think is a little bit overdone. I mean, there must be a hundred references to him lighting up a cigar uh, and at least 50 references him to, to him pouring a bottle, a shot of Jameson whiskey. I mean, we could have done a little less of that. Uh, I mean, it just gets increasingly bizarre and all these weird plot twists. Um, in the end, the whole thing winds up back in Madison Square Garden during a circus where the uh, killer... Um, 
forces Jane into a cage with a lion, and then Kinky has to rescue her. And there's a scene kind of reminiscent of The Thin Man where Kinky gathers all the suspects together in his apartment, but none of them confess. But uh, Kinky's own, own cat starts behaving strangely around one of the suspects, and that tips him off that that suspect is probably the killer. It's a really fun book. Uh, it doesn't have much coherence to it. Uh, or logic, it's, but it, it, in place of logic and coherence, it's got a lot of funny one-liners and uh, larger-than-life characters. It's, it's, if you like comic mysteries and you're not easily offended, you will enjoy this. Uh, but, I mean, he does make fun of feminists. He makes fun of other Jews. He makes, he makes fun of everybody, and himself included, of course. So if you're someone who's uh, uh, not, you know, if you're a politically correct person, you're probably not going to, you're probably going to be pretty offended at these books, but they're really funny and sharply written. Uh, and as a parody of cozy mysteries, it's, it's right on the mark. So, um, and it's one of the whole series. He did like 15 of these in the eighties and nineties. The book is when the cat's away. The author is kinky Friedman. This has been another Manning great book review. Thanks for watching.